Hey there guys, how's it going? Jack Reaper here. We're back in Resident, uh, Resident Evil 2. No, we are back in Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we're going to be carrying on. We've got to go get this train robbed. And that's what we've been building up to all the way through here. Hopefully we'll get down off this mountain by the end of this episode as well. So we can start nice and fresh going into episode 4. But let's see how long that takes us anyway. Um... If you have got any uh, in the comment section, if you've got any tips, tricks or ideas for what I could be doing when I get down into the, uh, off this mountain, once I actually get down in the actual game where I'm running around doing stuff that I want to do. Um, I do plan on doing a lot of the, uh, the side missions and radiant quests and all that sort of stuff. So if there's anything that you'd like to see me do, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, also, would you please, um, any good weapons and stuff that I should be aspiring to buy or get the money for, also put that in there and we'll go take a look and see how much I'm going to have to save up to try and get to that as well. Otherwise, let's do this. Let's get this posse to rob this train. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. And that is the law laid. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad idiot. There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'm just riding my okay. horse into you. Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. But all right, that can't be too hard. I got it from you. 
Let's get them back up here, I guess. I want to show weapon wheel. Ah, it's in items. I'm thinking. First time I went up, I thought I must have not left it long enough. Chugga 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 chugga. It's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Got you. Kick his ass. Bye. A second, I shot my own guy there. Yeah. 
Yeah, you down. Give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Thank you. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now, light the fuse. Let's do it. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. It's a nice looking train. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? Parched, so fine brandy. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. Yeah, it does. Think I got him. Thank God. Come on. Can't take any of that. I'm full. Search draw. Take whatever was in there. Let's see. That's oh, more than bonds. Yeah, I'm done. I think. Yeah, well, let me go to the cabinet at the end. Send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Okay, get on the train, quick! On it! Any bright ideas, I kill all three. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Oh. I hear so much. 
much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Well, I'm going to have to loot the bodies, aren't I? I'm not going to let them just go away. They'll be sending people after us. At the end of the day, you're a cowboy in the Wild West. There ain't no chance these people are going anywhere. Right, let's loot us some bodies on the way back up. Just didn't want them running off. Chocolate bar, nice. Kill bit. Ooh. Okay, kill them. There's two haven't been looted. Gotta loot everyone, remember. Make sure you get all that good stuff. Sixty two cents, boom. Go way off here. We threw him off the side, so that's not a problem. Right then, I'll call that done. A dead train there ever did I see one <laughs> ghost train so we getting out of this hellhole we're gonna try weather seems stable and we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train we got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! 
Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. So yeah, I did this and then uh, changed my outfit and I'm going to probably change my outfit to the same thing because out of everything that we've got, it's kind of my, kind of alright because it needs to be quite a bit more cooler down here. Push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. The graphics in this game are fantastic. Um, Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Can't believe that other cart didn't wait in the end. They just dropped this guy off and yes. just carried on the journey. This is the heartland we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. I don't like talking over the top of them talking, but they're always talking. Still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. It's true. you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. Nice of him. Moving a bit faster now as well, which isn't a bad thing. Moving our way up here, wherever this is taking us. Hopefully that camp soon. Nice to be in green rather than in the snow. Head in there, follow the tracks for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Didn't even see him. Okay, let's go. Just heard him telling me to slow up. <laughs> and then he jump on. Uh. Really? We're going to get through that. Not with these horses, and not with this. Not with this uh, on the back. Let's see if we can squeeze through here, and we're back on the track. Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. We are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. 
Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their key. There's a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. Now remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. Can we put you over here? I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Shaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> now, I'm half Spanish, right? My grandma's Spanish from my dad's side, and um, I actually lived in Spain for about five years, and I've never seen Jose spelt like that. Jose is J O S J O S A E. And their J is pronounced a H Jose. And was that a Mexican thing? Some of my American brethren might be able to uh, enlighten us on that. Right, let's get this guy changed. Change their clothing. Right. Have a little look through here. So we got hats. Now we're going to go Arthur's hat. Yeah. Um. Coats, vests, shirts. Uh. That one. No. Pants, let's change the pants. So range pants. Oh. Yeah. Need to take the jacket off. Coat. No cord. 
We have more of a selection of shirts now. Might be that one, you know. It only comes in white. One black. That's... Yeah, let's go like that. Right, okay. And there's one on that colour, that's fine. Boots. Them. I can't actually remember what he was wearing before. We'll keep the gloves off, neck where we don't need that. Weapon equipment, gun belts. That's his gun belt, yeah. Okay, Mandaleros. Yeah, so like that. Okay, we can search it on. I uh, do like the such look. Yeah, let's put that there, why not? Right, and then outfits. I'm going to put that in the horse, which is star on horse. Star on horse. Stop that on horse as well. I can. Oh well, there's our outfit. Right then, guys, I'm going to call at the end of the episode. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, please hit that subscribe button to get more future content and updated with the bell every time that you uh, I upload another video. Again, this video is going to be going up on Mondays. Wednesdays and Fridays for the Red Dead Redemption 2 if you like what you've seen please hit that like button it'd be greatly appreciated and leave them comments in the comment section below I'll be sure to get back to every single one of you otherwise thank you for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one bye bye